definitely great to be here today. I'm very excited to talk to each one of you um, and welcome. First of all, I'm going to talk about family of origin issues. Um, and wh what I mean by family of origin issues basically is the environment that we come from definitely shape us, right? The way if we grow up in a two-parent household, that shapes who we are. If we grew up in a single-parent household, that shapes who we are. Exactly, right? So usually a lot of the stuff that happened growing up we don't even understand how much those things affect us we just we think this is the way we are like i think this way i feel this way i see relationship this way i argue this way or i don't like emotion or i don't like anger we think that's the way we are but what we definitely forget is what we're really saying is that's the way my family does it right so if you grew up in a household where anger is not acceptable, when you get into a relationship, if your boyfriend or girlfriend is angry, you kind of pull away from them. I was talking to a young lady actually yesterday, and she was talking about how she doesn't understand the reasons why she goes from relationship to relationship to relationship. And come to find out, that's the same thing that she's known, like that's what her mom did, that's what her siblings did so she kept doing the same thing and she usually basically I've learned this way of kind of like working independently in relationships so she's like I'm in a relationship but I think independently I work independently so when the person her partner is like okay we need to work together she pulls away because she's used to just working by herself and thinking by herself the way you handle conflict in relationship is very reminiscent of the way your parents handle it so if you can think about how your parents um, solved problem at home, where they basically, people that sat down together at the table and resolved their issue, or do they separate, they just have this like argument and then separate and don't talk to each other and then the next day you just see them talking to each other and having fun again, you're like, okay, what just happened? You guys had this big old argument last night and now you're talking together. Or do they just yell at each other and then scream and it's a big old thing. So. You learn how to actually deal with arguments in those instances. So a lot of what a lot of us have learned is um, conflict management. We don't really know how to resolve conflict. We manage conflict either by getting really infused into it and like fighting each other and like really like abusing each other or we separate. get to conflict and resolution in your relationship not conflict management because if you manage it it's just like I don't know like a like a tooth decay or something it just builds up and builds up and builds up and you clean it but it's still there but you really want to resolve it by really sitting down and really putting your stuff out there even if it's painful even if your partner is like you did X Y and Z and I don't like that you still stay in there with them because you're trying to really allow your true self to show. When people fight, everybody walk away, right? So when arguments that, you start becoming fearful. So you either say, okay, I'm done with this argument, I don't wanna do this anymore, or I'm just done with this relationship. We need to like quit right now. Like this is not working for me. And a lot of people do do that because they're so afraid to stay in conflict. They're so afraid to like really deal with their own anxiety around what that represents for them. Because for some people, it's fear of abandonment. It's fear that this is gonna get really ugly and I'm not gonna be able to really have this person stay with me and really love me the way I want them to love me. But in order to allow your true self to show, I'm gonna go to that later, um, you have to really trust yourself also. You have to believe in yourself in order to like give yourself to that other person. So trust is a big deal. 